Oi, Bob Weigel, the sound doctor in here. Hello. We are finishing up work, which was extensive, on a Krumar Organizer 2. And this machine, as you can see, is just so loaded with parts. I just finished lubing underneath here. You have to pull these things off. You can, um, well, there's screws that are um, under here. There's three of them somewhere. There it is and one there and one there and um, I have to do the bottom still too and we'll be all done has all the dividers down there in the bottom and uh, top octave synthesizer there and these are um, capacitors that will fail it appears I've replaced all of these this massive number of capacitors had failed and uh, these all look good still the little blue ones, those blue ones, they all look good still. On the ESR meter, which checks the equivalent series resistance in circuit. You can see I had to replace one over there. Those measured okay. And um, a lot of these old blue ones I, I find on these Italian machines. Another one replaced there and those power supply ones. But um, a lot of those things are actually really good. And all these were replaced, which I think were uh, signal capacitors because things improved in sound when I did that. I don't have the schematics for this unit, but um, anyway, yeah, it's um, currently uh, live. So that, oh, and I got a shield to put on back down here too. There's a shield that goes on this stuff. I had to, to go in and reset, uh, pull a lot of these wires out that were bent. Um, somehow the contacts get pinched together on the wire and stress the wire and or um, they're needing to be tweaked one way or the another and you can use a, a probe like this to reach down and grab the you can see, uh, maybe you can see it I don't know there's a hoop in there you'll see it's there's bus bars and then there's a hoop down there and that hoop gets bent sometimes for whatever reason and then your piano note will sustain all the time instead of doing the thing it's supposed to do it's supposed to decay you can hear it just dithering out there. We've got all these so they play right now. I'll uh, do a little sound demo on it maybe when we get all back together. So, Bob Weigel, Sound Doctor. Or a true rocker. Now this with a stand, it's you get a little extra rock for your rockage. It's yeah, no, that's kind of a heavy machine to put on there. But yeah, the uh, Krumar Organizer 2 is a uh, very very cool organ. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. Well, yeah, play play around with some of the. Did you mess mess with the? We have the nerve center that's right the nerve center is capable of sensing the environment and adjusting itself to everybody's nerve <laughs> level uh, it isn't designed to get on people's nerves so much as it is to here you go you wanna yes 
Okay, here's the master at work, Bob folks. Bob Wagal. Here he is. Not the master yet, I'm saying. But he knows this thing better than I. And, uh, you got uh, You can have bass or and or chords going. It's on the top without the chords. Doing your own thing with the chords. Kicks into it. kind of mixes of these. I, I haven't figured out the whole thing yet, but you get all kinds, it's a matrix of possibilities here with the uh, two, uh, there are um, uh, two buttons per type, jazz, waltz, waltz, whatever you've got here, foxtrot and afro. You can do an afro march. That's, that's really one of my... the siren too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, normally normal people probably don't want to dance quite that fast. <laughs> and, uh, if it's sold to an alien planet, we might address that issue. Uh, oh, I like that. Go about right about there and it's getting go, a go. little fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Nemo's on tour. <laughs> That's right, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss it. The song 30 years ago. <laughs> I would thought we should show maybe the, the drawbar features a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. out the Hammond oh, Beast in this thing. Because okay. there is a Hammond Beast uh, inside this organ here. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. This thing's uh, really surprisingly complex. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of especially circuits. Especially for the, when this thing came out, we, it's amazing. We're, we're both somewhat taken aback. Drawbars now, you got let's hit the presets. Preset one, two. For the lower, no wait, Bob, that's lower manual. See. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. See, so you're on the wrong manual. They all sound the see, same. See, we, we know the exactly what we're doing here at, uh... What organ has that backwards? Oh, we got it. There, yeah, there you go. <laughs> see? They all sound the same, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are presets. But yeah, and then the drawbar. Show show how the draws on the uh, lower. Yeah, there you go. All the footage is right there at your fingertips, folks. Just like a real Hammond, almost. But this really sounds good. I mean, for Leslie, it's like. 
one of the best sounding uh, of the uh, analog organs I've messed with.